I think I have found out why I cannot totally deconvert from Jesus and leave him behind. I think I found out. I think I know why. You know, a lot of atheists say it is an emotional connection. A simulacrum. An interaction with a creation in your own mind because you truly believe it. As a Ghostbuster said, the real Ghostbusters cartoon on the episode Elementary, my dear watching, belief made manifest. Enough people believe that uh, there is a Sherlock Holmes, people start seeing the, the ghost of Sherlock Holmes and inter interacting with it. Man, I'm so ugly. Anyways, it's more than the mo it, for me. It's more than just an emotional connection. All my life, I felt something was wrong. Something was right. Something was not complete in me. Something was lacking. And th and this was in such a way that it was disquieting. No matter how much good I do did. It could not make me feel I was good enough. This disquietedness within me. No matter how many books I read by Dr. George G. Ritchie returning to from tomorrow about how loving Jesus was. And all you had to do was do your best to get in heaven. There are still when 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 the lights quieted down, I was by myself. I didn't have my music playing. There's something was troubled deep deep down inside of me. Something was wrong. No matter how much how, how much I read my Bible, how 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 I tried to have fun and forget about it, I couldn't forget about it. No matter how much I read about near the death experiences, about how Jesus was all of and loved everybody. I cannot get rid of this trouble, troubling within, disturbance, melancholy, not not a melancholy, but you know, a disturbance that I, I had to do things to try to get my mind off it. But when I finally gave to Jesus what I had been holding back for 30 years, 32, 35 years, Something happened. I don't have this disquietness within me. It was replaced by something that makes me want to be good. I know I'm not good because I'm angry. But there's something in, that something happened. Something changed in me that, in a way that no other religion, no other near-death experience account, could change me. And this is the right reason that, in spite of the fact that I do not believe the Exodus happened. At least as according to the Bible. I know the creation story of Adam and Eve was plagiarized based on an earlier Sumerian texts. A lot of the Bible was plagiarized. I just can't give up on Jesus. I just can't give him up. I'm hanging by a thread, of course. Now, had this been me, say, in 2010, 2009, I would be almost, I would probably deconverted and left Christianity behind and pursued a life of pleasure. So that, my friends, Aaron Ra, Matt Dillahoney, is why I cannot give up on Jesus. There's something... All my life long, I had a disturbance in, in me. Nothing, nothing could quiet that storm within me. The quiet storm. Only Jesus was able to do this. Do you understand? But why? Jesus, I'm still asking. Lord Jesus Christ, are you real? Or is this a cosmic biological glitch?